Uh, as you all may notice by the uh, background back there, you know, in case you're wondering what it is, it's that. <laughs> uh, it's like we're just kind of having fun this uh, show, and we have our audio panel. Um, can I the odd version? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I can actually see see y'all's glowing boxes. They just can't. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. A anyways, uh, this is probably going to be the last show we do for a month. We may or oh, may should, I, should I video call in, by the way? No, you're you're fine because we're doing audio today, so we can oh. we're actually on the thing. You can turn it on, but it won't let you because it didn't oh. turn on the Skypey widget thingy. <laughs> um. So ah, uh, me. Like like Marcel said, or the ma our magical bit, who has been on rants himself, <laughs> this whole show is probably going to be rants. <laughs> you know, I, I, I still have to laugh. The Apple person going, no, Apple, Mac, and iOS are wrong. <laughs> it's like, there's something wrong with that. <laughs> uh, before we get into rants, let's try and cover the rest of the shit. Um, Netflix. Does anyone really care that they're raising their price, price bucks? Nope. Yes. No. <laughs> it's like, well, wait, why do you care, Kami? I don't have Netflix, but I want it, and I want to pay an extra five bucks. <laughs> well, it's just if you want the online. You know? If you want the streaming, it's separate from the DVDs now. That's the only difference. If the DVD prices are seven ninety nine, dollars 99 and for you, blah, 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 streaming is $7.90 or 8 Okay, I want to get the DVD service. Then you well, want it. Me. I was just gonna say, then you can get one at a time for how many times a month you want for what is it, seven ninety nine or anything now? Yeah, but basically it's just you have to pay extra to have the unlimited streaming in conjunction with your DVD rentals. Okay, so I can get the unlimited streaming separately. Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. All right, now I don't have to pay extra. Yeah, but ba ba basically they raised the price because it's. They want to kill DVDs. Yeah. <laughs> DVDs must die. We must all go digital. We must all either get everything from Netflix, Google, or I or Apple. I don't think DVDs will completely entirely die until M, uh, these M4Bs or whatever be forced start incorporating subtitles and languages. Actually, uh, you can get MKB with subtitles. Yeah, no. That the, here's yeah, the, you have to do the uh, subtitle scripts. I've done that before. No, it's yeah, okay. no, it, and it, it'll work. The real problem with going all digital is that they're insisting in putting DRM and everything, and DRM mm -hmm. is not platform agnostic, which means getting the digital copy in some ways is dictating what computer you can use, uh, depending on whose DRM it is and so forth. Uh, I, I don't have a problem with them putting DRM. Where I have the problem is the DRM not being platform agnostic so that it's like you wind up on issues on certain systems. Usually those systems are OS X or Linux, but I've seen some DRM that gets weird with certain versions of Windows or certain media players in Windows and so on and so forth. That's the part they need to fix. The, the so uh, digital restriction is management. You know, but yeah. anyway, DRM is a fail anyway because people got stuck over it anyway. You know, so what's the point? Yeah, that, it's. I mean, it, it's. I, I personally think it's. There's it, either a people who get a part anyway. There's b people who actually pay money for the stuff. They're like, f you. I'm just gonna go uh, back up my stuff anyway. I'm gonna. Pre well, I know it's not mine, but I'm gonna pretend it's mine. <laughs> so you know, because I paid for it, I don't want to pay for it again. Uh, honestly, the only people DRM is hurt, or at least 99% of them, are the honest users who are doing what they're supposed to be doing. It, it, which is why, you know, I, I don't understand the current mindset of, well, we don't want this to work over here, and we don't want this, and we don't want that. Because at the end of the day, all they're doing is spending millions, in some cases billions of dollars, driving the price up to not solve the problem and make the product harder to use. Which is a lose lose all around, you know. That's yeah, but also by not DR, uh, having DR, by having DRM, it generally kind of sends a message, you know. But having too much DRM, you know, like it sends a, you know, like it's kind of like counterproductive too, because 
you know, with Spore, you're like, that was a very pirate game, and you had a lot of DRF in there. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Okay, uh... But getting on Netflix, I wanted to say that I, I actually was waiting for the day that they started charging for it. Uh, because I was, you know, I'm always thinking, I was like, look, how are they making, how are they, how are they making profit by combining this streaming service with, uh, hard DVDs, and so I, and I, I wasn't surprised it was going to happen. No, no, it, I, the other thing is, does this have more to do with, the, it's like, what, what, what was the trigger here? Is this because the U.S. dollar finally got weak enough? Is this because their bandwidth bill finally got high enough? Or is this because, you know, a critical mass finally got hit where they feel it's so, they feel they've seeded it enough and it's okay to rise the price? Honestly, I think they did it just because they could no, I, th I think that has a lot to do with how long did you really expect to be able to stream at seven ninety nine and get one DVD a month or at a time for nine ninety nine? Well, and honestly, most DVDs don't really cost that much to make; only a few cents. You know, the problem is looking at the shipping it. Well, no, and, and honestly, most of the people I know who have the one DVD in the streaming, they never get a DVD. They literally like only use the streaming. I was gonna say. It. I get like two DVDs a month and, or, or at a time free. And, you know, I use more streaming than I do DVDs. Yeah, I mean, the reality is if it's just easier, especially since things like Roku and so forth support it. You know, you just stick your TV top compatible. Really, if you're really into that, you go buy your TV top compatible box, plug it into your TV, and that's what you use. You don't order the DVDs and you just get them all now. You know, which just leads into the whole data cap things that we're running into with ISPs now. Yes. No, it's like that's why when they say, "Oh, well, nobody uses this data," I'm like, "Today." <laughs> Yeah, it's well, yeah, we're going to 4K then 8K, you know. Well, no, that's the other thing. They're getting more and more high def streams now. Those use a lot more data. And a lot of people don't like the um, the compression of all that digital stuff because uh, I was so, I was watching some one of his episodes on TV. He's like, uh, I can hear the compression. I can see the compression. I know it's there, and there's nothing I can do about it. Well, you can always fuck with it, you know? well on, on both of those things, you, you guys bring up a good point. How long do we think, you know, do, do we think this is the last price raise? Because with the data caps, they can't keep raising the price indefinitely. Because they, I mean, it's one thing if your Netflix bill becomes a hundred bucks, and that's a hundred bucks for every movie Universal, uh, Fox, and uh, Warner Brothers ever made. But it's another thing if it's a hundred bucks, and then you have to pay four dollars in bandwidth to AT and T or Verizon to get access to what you're paying a hundred bucks for. You know, it's like at some point these two are going to fight with each other and overlap. <laughs> The problem is the duality of the ISPs. You, you know, you have two different entities usually within an ISP that provides the infrastructure for our, the United States Internet. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, like... Okay, anyway, go ahead. Okay, continue. No, uh, well, let's move on. Basically, okay. all I'm going to say is that you have... The ISPs are essentially too interested in selling their own services, like AT and T will sell on their U verse and all that crap on top of their. No, no, internet. and they already do that. If you get the, if you have a AT and T phone and you have U verse, you streaming your DVR things through the U verse share does not count against either your home or mobile bandwidth. So. Yeah. That sounds anti-competitive with Dropbox. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, I'm, I'm wondering where the monopolistic people are. It's like, why, why this, that, that, you know, we're talking... ...competitors. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 anyways, what do we, which one of these things do we want to move on to? <laughs> Uh, can we go skip over all the patent stuff and just go right No! Like, we Google? must! No, <laughs> are you kidding me? He didn't do what Google should be doing about the patent stuff. Oh, because he, he, I got the emails, and was like, we're doing this stuff on the patents. Just <laughs> 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 yeah, an email. Dark, dark, dark. Like, yeah, no, dark, dark, dark. Wait a minute now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Let, let, okay, let, let's go into the apple. What the fuckingness here? Even though Dark doesn't want to, Dark, you can sit out. <laughs> I'm voted. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was gonna make. I guess. Say your piece. I'm just no, no, no. Yeah, 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 you, you made a good point in the email, and and, and go, go go into it. You go first. All right. All I'm going to say is that I don't see this as a, as a, as a huge problem at all. Um, I Basically, the problem that HTC has is, they, is that they don't have a portfolio of patents, like Samsung, uh, Palm did, and, and their suits against Apple. And Apple's also lost. Uh, patent disputes for iTunes, you know, they and, and other products where they settled, paid out royalties, this and that. Now, I guess the concern is, well, what's going to happen now that Microsoft is you know, taking a piece of the pie uh, for every Android device sold? And they're making more money on this royalty than, I guess, for those front, uh, phones that are sold. I, I think that there's a threshold because of the licensing between Android that OEMs will put up with. And if the Apple settlement fits within that threshold, then it's not going to change the price. It's something that they're that they've because they're weighing the balance and say, oh well, if I'm actually going to use Windows Phone Seven, it does cost me X amount of dollars, and the I, they have to factor in consumer demand and all this other stuff. So they're they're looking at it and say, ah, if this settlement's within this range, no big deal. No one's going to feel the blip on the radar. Let's move on. Now, if Apple gets greedy or tries to make things well, harder, and, and that 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 is the concern. The, the, there are there are actually three well, concerns. Most of the time, I can tell you that's not going to happen. Well, the, the, I mean, there's like Qualcomm and Broadcom as an example. Um, there was that Verizon deal. There was no, no, the Nokia deal where all these licensing things came up. I just don't see HTC already has a workaround. Well, no, well, no, and, and that, that, that's the thing. The, the three concerns here are, A, this is really Apple going after Android, not HTC. But like you said, HTC is very vulnerable to this because HTC doesn't have patents. HTC owns almost no patents. Uh, and, and you brought up the Microsoft thing. What, what happened there... Uh, micro and this is the precedent that's being set in the industry right now because Google's taking this big hands-off approach. If you want to attack Android, go after HTC, who doesn't have any patents to fight you with, force HTC to settle, then use that judgment as a precedent to go after everybody else. And and each and each t and basically you settle cheap for HTC to get something that allows you to ask for double, if not triple, the money for everybody else. Uh, which then is really unfair to the consumer driving the price off here. Google needs to stop sitting out of this. When they go after HTC, Google needs to step in and go, okay, we are putting all the Google patents on the table to help defend against this, rather than just sitting back and hoping justice gets done. Because I, I, I understand why they're doing that, because they don't want a uh, Google gets a lot of money out of Apple uh, and, and Microsoft, uh, so, but they get a lot, a lot of money out of Apple from uh, Google being the default search for Safari and so forth. Um, but you know, it's Google. If Google's going to honestly stand up here and say these patent claims don't have basis, which they really don't, then they need to be putting their weight behind that because Google's who has. The patents and the trademarks are the documentation to show that no, there's no infringement when it comes to the Android software. Not necessarily the redistributor. Well, I feel that if if it actually comes to a real problem, I think Google will. But see, I'm thinking that Google's not even this is not even on their radar. I don't think that they're concerned. I think that they're just they're like ah, it's going to get hashed out because I really just don't see this getting to be any kind of problem. However, in the very slight chance that it does, then you'll see Google step up. But until then, it's not really going to be on their radar. For the rest of this, this is really just merely many pundits and uh, blog sites trying to get advertisement clicks. Well, you know, I, I, I agree with that. But, I mean, 
Can we honestly argue that there's any validity to something that has to do with showing email? I mean, that's, you know... Oh, well, yeah, but see, that's, that's for the courts to... I understand. Yeah, I mean, that's what we discussed, we discussed in our last show about uh, patent vetting and, and where does the vetting process come from. And, and if we actually put all of that process in the patent office, it's more than likely none of us can get patents through. No, no, no. I, 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 I agree this should be being settled in the courts. The only problem I have is the people who have the documentation to make this go away are quietly sitting on the sideline going, you know, we don't want to get involved. It's like, I'm sorry. No, because it's not on their radar. I mean, if I just follow Google, I wouldn't get... Because that's a big step. That, if Google does it, then that actually makes all eyes come to this, rather than this blowing over no one really giving a crap. And then maybe some article that goes, oh, well, by the way, the HTC Apple thing ended this way. If Google really does get involved now out of something that really is not that significant, it will become significant. And I think that's that's a, st a play they don't want to make. Mm, I, 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 I hear what you're saying, but I think they're underestimating the long-term damage their apathy is doing. But see, that's based on an assumption. That, see, I, I, I just... Give me an example where this has occurred, I guess, whether the patent and technology that, that it's... Oh, yeah, the, the Microsoft suits the perfect example. They yeah, they're also showing the Linux distributions. Yeah. The yeah. Android group for groups since then. Is that again, Marcel? Android grew 33% since then. It hasn't slowed them down. It's not slowing Android down, but it's disincentivizing the platform. Right now, everybody... Okay, that's what I'm saying. Because of... Because... because would indicate that then I should have slower growth, but... No, 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 no. So... Because of the HTC settlement with Microsoft, the, mm -hmm. Microsoft is now asking for triple the money for the next batch they're suing, and they've stated they're going to they're going to raise that each time. Uh, so that's not the sanctions; they won't get it. <laughs> okay. They, trust me, they're not. This is the second that this becomes a problem to where OEM vendors uh, and it's outside their company aren't in a problem. Then they're turning. They're going to be a major vendor. Marcel, turn auto correct off on your mic. Or is it, uh, um, God, why does it automatically always come on? That's <laughs> <laughs> no, well, uh, my, my fear on this is that if they wait to the point that that damage is done, uh, it's going to be, there's going to, that'll be the point at which there's four or five precedents in the court to go, uh-uh, no, you don't. You know, that, that then becomes a 10 year to straighten out. In the meantime, uh, the whole platform suffers. That, that I, I'm not sure you want to wait till it gets anywhere near that but point. But see, what I'm saying. The way this process works is that in the courts, it's not an actual bullet-fired, smoking gun type thing. You there's there's appeal processes and things that muddy the waters. That it's not that it's not a cut and dry shot to where oh now the damage is done and it's too late for Google to do anything. I, see, the thing is, I believe under it's already. And yeah, you see, I'm sorry. Uh, there you go. You, you didn't sound like you buzzed before, but now you're fine. Yeah. And seeing uh, HTC's already got complaints against Apple for other suits, and I bet you that that's what, what I'm saying is that there's a 95 percent chance that this just washes, and there's a there's a settlement that takes place because there's already claims from other patent disputes that HTC can go to Apple and say, well, you know what, we've already nailed you on this. You're getting this on us and this and, and it's so most people are it's like what we'll make a deal out of stuff and throw and I hash it out and stuff. I, I I hope you're right because if we get to this Christmas and I can't buy HTC products in the US because of Apple mm. <laughs> All right. <It> works. <laughs> <laughs> Now, that would be in direct contravention. That, that would literally be a criminal act. You'd be smuggling them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had to smuggle my Google phone in. <laughs> I had to get it past the Apple cartel. <laughs> yeah, they're like Cuban cigars now? What? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think Cuban cigars are legal now to, uh, to get, aren't they? <laughs> uh, I, I don't actually know. I don't smoke cigars. Yeah, they still are. 
They're still illegal, yeah. Mm-hmm. You no, know, it's like, um, you know, it's like, like you said, HTC is going to appeal it. They'll saw it. Um, move, it's like, we'll put the links to these patents. Y'all will laugh at what the actual... I, I've only seen two articles that are linking to the actual patents. They're just, like, saying what they say. The actual patents are funnier in some of these articles to be...